What it do? It's your boy Cam Crunk, aka Boo Hill Baby, King of the Hill. I'm 21 years old. I'm a rap artist, and this is my Boo Hill store. RP Dirty Red. You know what it is, nigga. <laughs> Boo Hill, turn the fuck up. Size Town, turn the fuck up. West Side, turn the fuck up. Yeah, it's your mother from the boy Cam Crunk. Boo Hill Baby, best BBC. Ass too, nigga. First started rapping, I say, when I was about 12, you know what I'm saying? I came from a real productive family, you know what I'm saying? On my dad's side, like my daddy and, you know what I'm saying, his look, his partners and my cousins, and them, you know what I'm saying? We always, they always have been in the music, you know what I'm saying? Beats wise, you know what I'm saying? Making music wise. So it was, it was, it was always really kind of in me, you know what I'm saying? So I took that and I turned to my own thing. I've been doing this, I say, since about 2006. Is when I know what I'm saying I really just picked that pencil and that pad up and then I developed Cabin Crunk, you know what I'm saying? And it, it just really went from there to be for real, for real. Me and my you know what I'm saying, me and my me and a few my uh old homeboys be in class, you know what I'm saying? We be back, back in class, you know what I'm saying, beating with pencils on the desk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the time we was just fooling around, but whoever knows that little green cup, you know what I'm saying, tried to be Cabin Crunk. So I really came a long way from long way in this music game. The hardest part growing up with this music in this music was basically where I'm from. I'm from Saifu. It's a very small place, you know what I'm saying? It's a very rich place at the same time. You know what I'm saying? These white people here, they got a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But they, they would never ever take that money and invest on the side of town from, you know what I'm saying? Beside, or, or when they choose to put certain things, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of hard because people always say where we, where we from is hard to make it out, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really never made it out unless they was an athlete or they just made a real serious move. You know so it was always hard, especially just being a black male, you know what I'm saying? Young, got criminal records, you know what I'm saying? They they quickly, you know what I'm saying, grab the average normal little nigga out here on the streets and then take him, you know what I'm saying? Spook him up in their way, you know what I'm saying? Into something he ain't got to really be. As a younger, we always try to have our, we always try to make our own fun in every little way that we can, you know what I mean? So. I just, I, I got really inspired with this music, you know what I'm saying? I ain't take it for real at first, but when I did realize it, I took it for real. And it, was, it was just real hard. Ain't no love in no right heart, no. smiles on no right faces. No. The spots I usually chill is now becoming strange places. It's like they want to break it cause a nigga trying to make it. Sure. I thought that y'all be glad to hear me say I'm kind of made it. Yeah. I hopped off the porch, straight to these streets. And then once I, left, once, once I lost my homeboy Red, that took a big part of me, you know what I'm saying? It's a big piece of me with him. I don't think nobody really understand how I feel, what I went through. And I'm still at the same time here today, still trying to get that piece back, keep trucking, you know what I'm saying, keep my head above water and all that. But it's, it's, it was real hard coming up, but I, I never let that, I never let it stop me. Like I said, I grew up with niggas right now that you are going to do 10. We was all young, you know what I'm saying, fresh out of high school. We didn't make it out of high school. Niggas go lean down, 10 year bids, you know what I'm saying. So I took all that troubling and all that hurt and pain. I turned it into some more. You know, so I, I, I didn't get sucked into the system more. I, I didn't I didn't let that I didn't fall in that sinkhole. You know what I mean? I kept my head. I was always the one with a level head on my shoulder. Did the same thing, participate in the same activity, but I chose how to do it. I always did the right way. I was raised around OG. You know what I'm saying? So everything was really like clean, like they say, clean next to God. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was with me. I, I, I try to make everything, I try to make my next move my best move. Who inspired me really to do music was me. The struggle, the hustle, you know what I'm saying? The people around me, family, friends, the environment. And like I said, I did come from a music family, but <clears throat> I, used to, I used to do little shit like write poems, you know what I'm saying? For like the eighth grade school news. I used, I used to do stuff like that. But as as, as I grew older, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my story grew with me, you know what I'm saying? So. It, it, it was it was it started to become deeper than just poems and just words, you know what I'm saying? I started seeing what I say, you know what I'm saying, start to affect certain people, you know what I'm saying, around me. So I took that and I turned it into an art. So I I, I, I knew Drake done my whole life, you know what I'm saying, through my aunties, you know what I'm saying, church, you know what I'm saying, stay right behind me. He started making beats, I started flowing. I stole actually my first song every record. I, st I ain't steal his beat, but he had left a CD of beats in my house. And I had took them, and me and my homeboy, Dears Tate, we had took the CD, wrote our song out, 
But we had went to Young Creed studio. He said he charged us fifteen dollars. Man, I remember man, I took that man fifteen dollars worth of change, man. That man took that man. He took it. And he got my first song, nine on my side. You know what I'm saying? And once it once he started spinning around the school, everybody started hearing like, dang, y'all need to go hard, you know what I'm saying? Everybody plus I always been that I gonna say that guy I've always had that kind of rep, you know what I'm saying, with me. So that was really like a booster for real. So but people start hearing that song around school. They're like, oh, this shit hard, you know what I'm saying? So I heard, that's when I got to really hear myself, I'm like, damn. So let me do it again. So this time, Creed, he, he made a beat, he gave it to me. I took the beat, I wrote it out. Return of Sunset came back. It was an event we had in the hood. Return of Sunset came around. You know, I wanted to perform. It was packed. It was like hundreds of people out there in the hood. Pack. They had the talent show. Man, I got up there with no music, man. I could on that whole track. And I just, as I was just performing and rapping, I could just see the whole, I could just see me in the crowd. I could just see how the crowd was vibing with me. The whole rock, you know what I'm saying? The old people, you know what I'm saying? It was just, a, it was a good feeling. And then after that point right there, that's when Vegas Boy took me under his arm. And, it, and then my whole life changed. We started dropping on Westgate. You know what I'm saying? That's where all this originated from, Westgate Street. And, and my dude, VB Mama House, man, with number love there, man. We used to stay at night over there, wake up over there. It was always somebody there. We was always working, you know what I'm saying? And this is how I came through this music stuff. Street Tanner. He used to, I was a young, he used to say he, he was always showing me beats, you know what I'm saying? I had I really had the right niggas in my ear, you know what I'm saying? Then I start and then it's, it's got on. I I I mean, there were like new stars, Elgin Bruce, Batman, Stizzy, you know what I'm saying? We just kept on elevating our sound and our belief in our music, you know what I'm saying? In five years I'll be twenty six. Where I wanna be, man, I wanna be somewhere I never thought I'd be. I wanna be seeing something I never thought I'd see, doing things I never thought I'd be doing. I, I wanna give a lot. I wanna give so, so much back to my mother for the community, man. I wanna give so much to the kids, to the poor, the hungry, you know what I'm saying? I wanna make a difference. In five years, I wanna see a difference off something that I did, you know what I'm saying? Off just me and my, and my motivation. And just me, just amped up to do something. I feel like the, the hip hop culture today is all right. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like we got no meaning in it. Ain't no life in it for real. See, when I was growing up, it, it, that was music was music. You know what I'm saying? Music had a feel good purpose. Music will make you get up out the bed and you it bring you from a bad day to you know what I'm saying a good day. But I, I ain't knocking no artists right now. I'm just saying how I can Cause I was coming, I listen to music that, that I could relate to. You know what I'm saying? Made me want to be a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Besides now you hearing shit and make you want to be somebody that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? No originality. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it ain't no love in this music these days, man. This, and this, that was my music side more different. Nigga, put that weed out, throw them seeds out. Jake's on my ass, I dare no wanna speed out. But my nigga dinner off them papers, off them papers. I'm trying to keep that nigga out them cages, out them cages. So dealing with today's music, like who I listen to, like if I get in my car and I'm finna get my day started. Nine times out of ten, I'm bumping Elgin Blues. Might pull up on you something new with no roof. No roof. I came from nothing, now I'm stuck and that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Listen to Batman, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Lil Mike, you know what I'm saying? I listen to the, the locals for real that I fuck with niggas up under me because if they fuck with me, then we all on the same page. Same story, same struggle, same hustle. You know what I'm saying? So I get in the car, I pop my niggas in the man, you know what I'm saying? I feed off my niggas. We feed off each other, you know what I'm saying? We all trying to get to the same place. So I feel like why not support my niggas, man, then support a nigga that ain't doing nothing for me, you know what I'm saying? So I get in the car, I'm bumping that Elgin Brew. You know what I'm saying? It's bumping. I'm bumping that Batman. We all three different people, three different styles, but we all the same, for real. We all got the same, we all got the same dream, we all destined the same, and we all eager for the same thing. So I bought my niggas, man. That's what I listen to. Slank raw till it's sky rocket. Eight ball in a side pocket. Face palm should have stayed home days long. Feel like eight palm in his eye socket. Cody burn, but you learn the worth of a dollar. Support the firm according to the terms you learn from your father. My style of music, real life, no fiction. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got it, if I ain't did it, man, you'll never hear it. You'll never know it. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't me. My style of music is, I'm the band aid. That's my style of music. My style of music is a band aid. You got you say you got to cut. You got pain, I'm that band-aid. You put me on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that ointment. That's what I am. I'm, I'm the flow. I'm the flow of these Sison streets right now. Like, I, I ain't taking from no artist, no nigga in Sison. This is this, this reality, you know what I'm saying? From how I see it in my own eyes, from my own work. I'm the band-aid, man. I'm the, I, I, I got that kind of music where, man, you hurting, you going through certain things, I'm going through that same shit. 
That's why a lot of people around here fuck me like that, man. Throughout the whole boot here because they all they all watch me grow up. We grew up together. Same same events, same story, you know what I'm saying? Same tragedies. We touch the same people everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And I and I and I took them tragedies and all them hard times and them pain and I brought that shit and I put the band-aid on that shit. I made it feel better, you know what I'm saying? My music career really kinda of took off when I, when I linked up with new stars I and see. You know what I'm saying? I had moved to uh, Horn Lake, Mississippi, and I came back. I was still doing my music thing, and I was down there. But when I came back, my nigga Poo, you know what I'm saying? Ron, Bubba, KJ, Lil J, they all was doing their shit. They wanted to get down with it. But when we all had linked up, goddamn, we did some motherfucking major shit. We did some motherfucking moving, man. I mean, when that little downtown wreck first opened, Fred came and got us. Fred Thatch came and got us, you know what I'm saying? He wanted us to, he had heard about us. You know what I'm saying? We had went in there performing little shit for him. We was throwing ham ass parties. Motherfuckers know about new stars, man. And my nigga Poo, I always work with my nigga Poo. See, it really all my niggas I fuck with, all this shit be young music with us. You know what I'm saying? We, all this be young. We ain't just, oh, he make my beats or oh, all that nigga know we rap together. All this shit, man. We all A1, day one nigga. Fall off, get back cool, fall off, that kind of shit. That shit, that's, that's the important shit. You know what I'm saying? That homeboy shit. You know what I'm saying? So I get new stars, we start. That's when I really started becoming Cabin Crumble. I always had been Cabin Crumble. When I started fucking with the new stars, you know what I'm saying? It was about five of us. It was a lot of energy. We was young. We was a guy. We was so pumped. We was so amped. We had, we had, we was making noise through this motherfucker, man. We was just moving around, man. When people seen us, they knew us. And they knew what we was about when we was on, man. We didn't talk. Truth be told, I'm always fucking Vegas, boy, man. <laughs> niggas hate it. Niggas always have hated it. Niggas hate it. You niggas hate it. I know, so I see it in you niggas' faces. You niggas' responses to us, man. Niggas hate the whole VBE movement, dawg. Cause you know why? You got a team full of solid ass niggas that ain't going no motherfucking where. Nigga, we the cornerstone, nigga. And we ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna always stick with Vegas. Niggas don't try to take me. Put this in my ear. I'm always, man. That man took me. And, man, that man changed my whole life around. Way y'all niggas never understand, man. Like I say, he, that man took me. He, uh, he took a. He put me on the stage, he gave me a mic, he gave, he gave me game and life, man, he done showed me so much, taught me so much, man, to who I am, you know what I'm saying, the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, the, the street shit, the school shit, the house shit, any kind of wise, you know what I'm saying, anything I speak of, I know about, it's all because the dude, you know what I'm saying, it's my guy, man, you know what I'm saying, it's like, more than a brother, like pops, goddamn, you know what I'm saying, however we can get close, you know what I'm saying, that's how it is, man, so, I, basically what I'm saying, man, if y'all niggas out there, got somebody, you know what I'm saying, who believe in you, man, and you believe in your motherfucking self, man, then believe, you know what I'm saying? Embrace that shit, man. Let the bygones be bygones, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas pick your motherfucking nuts up, be men, nigga, and push on, man. So I'm just rapping my story up, man. It's your boy Cam Crump, aka Boo Hill Baby, man. You can check me out on Twitter at KPN underscore Crump, C R U N K. Make sure you check out my homeboy, Eldrin Blues, my nigga Batman. We doing a damn thing, man. VBE, Sice Town, stand the fuck up. It's your boy, Cam Crump, King of the Hill, Best in the S, Pioneer this shit. Boo Hill, let's ride. Sleep without my reefer, and when we go to bed.